How's it going guys and welcome back to the False Tech YouTube channel. So in this video I'm going to be going over and doing a detailed overview as well as kind of like a tutorial of how to do Droid Admin, how to create your own stores. I'm going to be showing you how to uh, create the APK download as well as the image for the image to show up inside Droid Admin. I've had several comments on how to do this so I figured what better time to do it than now. Um, so first we want to go to droidadmin.com now you will need a, um, I'm going to be using Dropbox, there's other methods, but um, I'm gonna, in my tutorials I will be using Dropbox. So droidadmin.com, you want to click on this create code. You'll want to go ahead and create your account if you don't already using sign up. I already have one so I'm going to click login. Once you're logged in, you'll see your stores. I have the False Tech Full App Store, False Tech Lite App Store, and I have the False Tech Latest Store. So I created this one just a moment ago. So I'm going to delete it and show you how to create that here. So to create your store, you want to come down here to create new configuration. Click that. Give it a title. False Tech Latest Store. You can give it a description. You can do quite a few things, um, such as make a custom message like my other stores have. But you can do that at your own discretion. I'm going to click Save. Alright, so we're going to scroll down to that new store. I'm going to click Create Files. Alright, so at the bottom here, you see Cinema123 Release APK and CinemaAPK.png. Uh, this is the app I'm going to be using to replace my Terium TV. And how, where I got that from is I Google Cinema APK. This is the Cinema APK website. So I came down here. Scroll down, click this latest version APK file that started downloading this file here. Once that was done, I went ahead and read this image. Now I have modified this image, so I'll show you exactly what I did. So I downloaded this image by right clicking, save image as. Once it was saved, I brought it up in Photoshop here. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use GIMP. Or other any type of paint I mean you can honestly use paint any type of other editing tool you can use but all I did was um, I put this right here just highlighted this control C created a new tab file new that's fine paste and that's what you see right here but I have made it bigger just for um, future just for future preference here or just to show you guys to make it bigger, control T for transform, hold shift, and just drag it, center it, and there it is right there. And do file, export, quick export as PNG. Now, I like this, I like this app having a background, but let's say you didn't want a white background here. You come over here and just delete this right here right click on the layer so you'll delete that right there click on the magic tool click on the white hit the delete key and then find any other white that you want to remove and then export as PNG once you export this as PNG this will be a transparent image and you'll, um, when you upload it to the store, your image will be transparent. I uh, don't recall which, what will be the default background. It could be black, but I do like white on mine. So um, I'm going to be going with this one right here. All right, so I'm going to just minimize this. And you, and you could also just save it and upload it like it is, but I didn't want to have this red border. So that's what I, that's what I removed here. So that's this guy. And there's my cinema release APK. And then we'll go to your Dropbox. Go ahead and log in. Once you're logged in, you'll be you'll be on this My Files tab. And once you're here, you'll want to let me uncheck these. You'll want to hit this upload button here and upload your APK as well as your PNG. Okay? So once you got these downloaded guys, you'll just want to highlight, click share create a link once the link is created 
you'll then want to just copy it. Come over to your Droid Admin. Now pay attention to, to this. Download URL, paste it right here. Change that da download number from 0 to 1. And you want to do that, do the same thing for your image. So pop back over to Dropbox, close this, find the image, share, create link, copy link, come over here, paste, change the download to 1, give this a name, we're going to call this Cinema Cinema APK Save and just to show you that this works guys I'm going to have my, my phone up here to show you what it looks like so bear with me here let me launch the app alright guys I'm now recording on my phone open file links here now on my computer you can see my school my code which is right there so I'm going to enter that in and I should have only one listed there and it should have my image as well so continue we'll let it load and there it is you see my image the cinema free as well as the title cinema APK you'll get you'll see this file link newsletter just to dismiss that unless you want to subscribe to it feel free to do that as well but guys that is all there is to it so let's recap I'm going to open up my store all right hit the manage files on the store there's my cinema apk I'm going to click edit so you can review it so let's let's go through this guys make sure we all understand the first step is to download the APK and download the image that you want to use for that APK. The second step is to then upload it to Dropbox. Once you uploaded both of them to Dropbox, the third step will be to make sure you share it. So hit share, create your link for both your APK as well as your logo. Once you copy, excuse me, once you create the link, you then want to copy the link by clicking copy link. Then the next step is to go over to Droid Admin, make sure you have an account created, go to create your store, then create your um, your app. And so to do that you'll click create new or edit. You'll throw in the download link, put a one in front of the zero in place of the zero. Do the same thing with your uh, image. Find your image, share it, copy link, paste it here, change the zero to one, and then hit save. Once you have saved it, it'll be in your dashboard right here. Go ahead and download Droid Admin onto your shield. To do that, you can download it from the downloader app in the Google Play Store or you can download it from the Chrome browser. There's many ways to download files, but um, use whatever method you want to use. And once you have it downloaded, you launch it, put in that title, and you can get any download files that you want to get. Well guys, that's all I wanted to show you. I, um, I hope this answered your questions on how to get the images as well as the APKs. Uh, this is probably going to be the best Droid Admin tutorial that I've put out so far. My last one was kind of a fail, but it did help you help a lot of people. But this will be my Droid Admin 2.0 tutorial. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Um, if you would like to uh, help out the channel, uh, look look at the links below. I'll have my uh, PayPal, my um, my other methods of ways you can contribute to the channel. I'll be grateful. I'll be I'll be grateful as well as I'll really help the channel out. Uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.